I had a recent experience. I think it was in university. I remember I was in lecture. The, the professor was mostly teaching Arabic, so I asked him something about the lecture and he was like, what, sorry? So that was kind of awkward and as we were working on VoiceMed, it made me realize, okay, how important communication is and how left out other people feel when they don't have access to that. So VoiceMate takes audio input and displays sign language. It's simple as that. I'm Shehroz. My role in the project was team leading and the nitty gritty coding. My name is Salha. My part in this project was 3D animator and also on the development side. My name is Talha. I am the solution architect for our project and I also do mobile development. My name is Daud and I was a part of creating the data set. Okay, so me and Daud were friends in kindergarten. Talha and me were in, became friends in ninth grade. In high school, our classes were next to each other and same teacher. Then starting university, we had Shiro's come in the pack. And when we joined university, we were like four friends. We used to do everything together from the projects, you know. And also eating from each other's plates. And the first event that we actually took part was the game hackathon, right Talha? Yes, game it was jam. game jam. Yeah, game jam, yeah. My name is Nidal Al-Basha, Digital Innovation Leader at Amazon Web Services Bahrain. I started a hackathon during the AWS Summit September 2019, and the theme for this hackathon was uh, AI and empathy. Nidal had this quote, he said, like, do innovation on innovation. So something invented, invent on top of that. So we were brainstorming, and then finally ended, ended up with this idea. On your mobile phone, on any device, you open VoiceMate, you speak to it. Hello, how are you? And it will do the sign language translation for you. The general flow of data in VoiceMate is that a person speaks to a microphone um, that gets sent to Amazon Transcribe, which takes the speech audio to, and converts it into text. That text is then sent to AWS Lambda for processing. And what I mean by processing is that the grammar of the English language is not the same as ASL. So we need to account for that. So that formatted text then is sent to Amazon Sumerian to be displayed onto a 3D avatar by means of animations. Awesome. Yes. That's where Blue Guy came in and he had to make a, about 100 animations. 117, I guess. A lot of time. So we made a tool which could convert me doing something right now into animation. A DIY motion capture. Yeah. And the meaning of sign language is not only based on sign, it's based on body gesture, the lip sync and the movement. It's, it's a mixture of that. So in my training of the animations, I had to keep in mind that if I'm using the hands with certain sentences, I also need to get the expressions. For example, if someone is asking a question, so he has to make an expression of raising an eyebrow that gives more understanding to the other person. So VoiceMate takes one part of the conversation, but to really have a conversation, you need both ends. So that's where PoseMate comes in. In PoseMate, what we're doing is taking an input video stream from a person who's speaking ASL, so A, B, C. That gets sent to Amazon SageMaker, where the model is being trained on about 56,000 images of the alphabets of ASL, does some ML predictions on it, and then returns the results in audio format. 80% of the dataset was by Darud. I built dataset by standing in front of their phone. A, B, C, it's not C, I had no idea previously how to sign. So trust me, it was a hard job. The director, Sheroz, had the, the director? specific, yeah, the specific information. You need to have different lighting in each of, like most of the photos, no redundancy. Okay. Different lighting, different backgrounds, um, different, different, different backgrounds. hands. If you have your siblings, get, your, get their hands as well. So this poor guy had to take 1400. 1400 images per sign. Daud knows the pain. They started with one hand with a simple letter and it ended up that it is both hands and even the bodies. Uh, I could say they went from zero to hero. Currently the technology is in prototype stage, but we're hoping to expand it so that it's a, not a commercial, but like a product that can be released to the world. 
So the prototype is actually open source, so people can just go get it and just experiment and build on their own. Before, we were developing from our own knowledge and from what we could find on the internet. But now uh, the project is out in the hands of deaf people. We are getting more knowledge, like what type of exact situation they want to use the product in, so we can develop according to that one. So I think, yeah, the feedback is, has been really good for us. When I came into the hackathon, I was like, we are in 2020. What innovation is left for mankind? You know, everything's everything researched out. Everyone knows everything. Nothing is hidden anymore. Then when I, we had this idea, for me, that was so exciting that, okay, I'm an innovator. 